Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. Today I just wanted to do a little like shopping spree. Actually it was like totally unplanned. That's kind of like how all shopping sprees are. You know, like I actually just went in wanting, I don't even know, I had no gold. It's like, ooh, I'm gonna go and look in the clearance because sometimes, you know, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they have like really high quality makeup for the low low. So I was like, ooh, I'll go in there and just do a little bit of makeup shopping. Anyways, ended up going in there and spent like $300. I just wanted to show you guys what I got because it's like some of the cutest things ever. Ever since me and my ex like broke up and he moved out like over like a year or two years ago, um, I've been revamping my apartment slowly, piece by piece. Got some cute little throw pillows, like this one, Rihanna. Smoking weed into the galaxy, so cute. I feel like when you're done with a relationship and if you've lived with that person especially, you know, and you still live in that same apartment, I mean, it's kind of like triggering, you know, if everything's the same. So you kind of want to like do a revamp. So I've been slowly revamping. And at the end of this video, I'll do like a little like tour of my cute little apartment. Look at how cute these coasters are, y'all. My style is just kind of like vibrant. I don't know. This is probably the color scheme of my whole apartment. But my living room specifically is like a baby pink themed a lot of my um artwork on my walls and then like a lot of my flowers and my candles are baby pink so this is like one of the throw pillows just for example but this was actually like one of the first pillows that i got i like, love this artist she has like the coolest art i have another one of her acrylic paintings or whatever that's printed out on a canvas in my bathroom and then I have another one that's in the other side of my living room. I'm just so excited to show you guys what I got because I went in there specifically looking for fucking makeup. And then next thing you know, I spent $300. But I feel like that's just, that happens to everyone, especially if you go somewhere like TJ Maxx or like Marshalls. So I got this, this, this big old bag. <laughs> I got more goodies. So first bag, let me just go ahead and show you guys. This one is really heavy. I don't know if it's a cancer thing, but like we love fucking candles and throw pillows. Anything that's like soft and like fluffy. I feel like that's just like a cancer thing. Like, like even my bucket hat is like so comfy. Like, I don't know. I love comfy things. So this is going to be the first one. I know that it's a candle, but you guys look at how fucking cute these candles are. Okay, just, just wait. Ooh, how adorable is this candle? It's a fucking mushroom. Like how cute. It's Martha Stewart. I don't know. It was like freaking like, I don't know, 15 bucks. Then you open it and it's a fucking candle. So when I'm done with this, I could even like put like my jewelry in it. I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. It's going to go with my, like, honestly, I'm probably just going to set it right there by my little lamp thing. My like feather lamp. I don't know. Because there's a pink candle over there. I don't know if you guys can see, like, it's already like matching. Second candle. I'm pretty sure this is a candle. It's heavy. And this one, so pretty. Um, It smells really good too. Oh my God, it smells like, what is this? It is fig and magnolia. So I feel like this would just like look so cute together, you know? I usually just go out and buy whatever the fuck I like or whatever like looks cute or whatever I think is cute. And then none of it really ever matches. So I decided that like when my ex moved out and it was like my apartment, I could do whatever the fuck I want to it. I'm gonna revamp and I'm gonna make it like everything me. I guess my aesthetic, like when people come over, they're like, you do your like apartment so colorful and so vibrant and like kind of like weird. I guess I have like a trippy aesthetic. I don't fucking know. Candle number, whatever this is. Damn, she like really wrapped the shit out of this, y'all. She, she made sure my candles were safe. Oh my God, you guys. This was my favorite. When I saw this, I gasped, okay? Because I have been wanting this specific thing since like 2018. But I lost, like, the URL code or whatever, the website. I couldn't find it, like, and I just didn't know. I guess I could have looked it up on Amazon, but, you know, I was going through some things, you know. First off, it's a disco ah, candle. It actually smells good, too. But wait, but wait. It gets so much better, you guys. Like, it gets so much better, you don't even know. Bitch, it's a fucking mushroom. It's a disco fucking mushroom. The disco mushroom that happens to also be a fucking candle. I was tripping out, y'all. I literally had it on, like, my Christmas list for all my friends and family. No one fucking got it for me. But it was, like, a set of two. But I did find, enough, like, a bunch of other ones that were, like, bigger. But they were all, like, broken. But this one's so cute, you guys. Like, oh, 
this is gonna be a centerpiece for sure like oh last item in bag number one this is gonna be another pink candle this actually smells really good this one's gonna be also fig and magnolia so it smells really really good it's actually more like vanilla -y. okay i'm doing some of my interior designing you know i got this and then this and then this and these are all just my candles bitch i'm a candle hoe okay anyone who's watching this if you ever want to buy me anything like i mean buy me like whatever you want but candles you can't go wrong okay so this i'm like what is it oh! okay it's even better i got this this is not a candle but you guys look it's another disco mushroom it made me so happy so now i have two so one's like i'm trying to see like one's like a little taller and skinnier but this one actually comes off and is a candle. These are probably gonna be like my two little centerpieces, but oh my God, you guys like how fucking cute are these? So I try my best to color coordinate and it like literally just all worked out so perfectly because I'm, I love like shiny, bougie, glittery stuff. And then I also love like colorful, vibrant stuff. And then I like candles. So I was like, oh my God, I'm dead. Okay, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die TJ Maxx. So then I also got some cute, this is from the house of Harlow, just some cute little earrings just for work because we're not allowed to wear like giant hoops or anything like that. I love doing the stacked earrings because I have multiple piercings. So I was like, okay, that's cute. We're going to get those. Don't want to gatekeep here, but when I saw this, y'all, I fucking gasped. I'm not even kidding. Okay. So this was on sale for $8. All right, y'all. So I'm going to put you on the best shampoo I've ever used. Literally like ever so this is joyco my mom actually sent me like the first one i've ever had like a year ago this is a conditioner this is the colorful anti-fake conditioner for long lasting color vibrancy i don't even care it was eight dollars and guess what i'm literally taking a shower this morning and i'm like almost out of my giant one and the one that i have is for like moisture but this one i'm like i don't even care it's fucking eight dollars the giant one was like 60 bucks so then i was like okay if they have joyco here they have to have it somewhere else and then I found um, the moisturizing shampoo just because I'm almost out. Like I said, I know they're not like the same, but I don't give a fuck. Literally, you don't even need to use like hair treatment, like or any kind of like conditioning masks after. And I've really damaged hair. Like this shit be coming through. This Normally one is $18 for this little one. Bitch, it's like a buy one, get one free. I'm like, I'm just so excited, y'all. Then I got this Buxom. Um, it's a plumping lipstick. I have the plumping lip gloss in almost every single shade. I also have the plumping lip stain. Or I don't even know. I have basically every single Buxom lip product. And they just came out with a lip, a plumping lip cream that goes on matte. So it's like a matte lip stick, I guess you could say. Got the one in Fly Girl. Um, and this one is, ooh, it's so pretty. It's an actual lipstick. And I love it because it's like a nude i love doing a brown liner and then like a nude lip or you know what i mean you can't you can't go wrong with that combo then i got this one for 9.99 it's just the cap on d lightweight full coverage concealer it's in light 105 it's just a cap on d concealer but i know that their concealers are full coverage i don't have any of her face products so i'm really excited to try this and it's only ten dollars so i also got this soap it was only 4.99 but it looks super cute relax <laughs> lavender and i definitely need to like chill out because i've been so stressed out lately i was supposed to go to la on friday night and just do like a solo road trip with my dog and go to huntington beach and then i canceled that last minute for her vet appointment and yeah just long story short it's been super stressful so i was like you know what i might take myself shopping at tj maxx like i was gonna spend 300 dollars anyway on like hotels and like that's not even covering like gas or like food or drinks or going out or anything that's like the best feeling is when you go out and you like go shopping and you really don't feel bad about buying a bunch of things that you want need and deserve it literally went a little ham but you know what we all deserve to go ham sometimes my couch like when i bought it when i moved to vegas it came with these pillows they're starting to get kind of like lumpy and gross and they're just like not my style so i was thinking about buying like some new like real good throw pillows I literally almost bought like seven different kind of pillows. And I was like, all right, bitch, calm down. I'm like, you are good. You do not need any more pillows. Like, I have so many pillows, but I'm getting rid of these ones. It's gonna take all the fluff out, wash it, and donate them. I do donate a lot of stuff. So whenever I donate stuff, I kind of like feel less guilty when I go and splurge on myself. If you're watching this, you better go full send and splurge on yourself because life's too short not to. And you probably deserve it. Like, you've been working hard. 
You've been a good person. Are all your bills paid? Like, do you have some extra money? Go, go do whatever makes you happy. And for me, I needed some fucking shopping therapy. But I got this. I'm like, how cute is this pillow? It came with a set. How adorable is this? So it's a lot pinker in person. But it's kind of more of like an orangey pink. It's like a cream pink, but I feel like this will match because I have a lot of like yellows and oranges all over my house. And then it came with the cutest little like, look at this little pillow. I'm like, I love it. These are gonna go and replace some of these ugly ass ones. And then they had the cutest, softest yoga sets, but I couldn't find any in like, they're all extra large or large, so I was like so sad. And I looked over and they had this, so cute. It's only like $16. It's like a little like crop jacket hoodie. So this was, and I was wearing, and I'm wearing like my cargo pants, my black cargo pants. So I was like, bro, this alone would be like such a buy, like the fit. I'm like so excited to wear this before, you know, it starts to get hot as fuck. I already have a lot of makeup organizers, but I don't really like how the setup is. It's just a rotating makeup thing. I'm like, as I'm about to rotate it. I'm just gonna like put like my fan in here, like my little foldable fan that I use to do my makeup with, probably like my uh, my toothbrush and stuff like that. And I got this one because it's big enough where I could put my beauty blenders in it. And then I got this because it was literally only $10 and it's so cute. Energy flows where intention goes. Super cute, super kind of trippy still. Like bro, the vibes, the vibes bro. I have a lot of stuff that's like, you know, kind of like this pattern. I'm no interior designer by any means. I actually suck at like making things look good together. I just buy a bunch of shit that like I think looks cute. I bought this little bin, the storage bin. It comes with three. Ooh, ASMR. I should do an ASMR with all my stuff. I'm like, honestly, that's like really satisfying for me for some reason. I don't know why. Joyco had a hairspray that was literally on sale for $10.99. I was like, and it's huge. That's what she said. Just kidding. But it's the power spray fast dry finishing spray um hairspray if i if i say spray one more time it says eight plus so i'm assuming it's a stronghold i don't know all i know is that i'm out of hairspray so i need a hairspray so i was like boom i used to use fucking aquanet like literally has a setting spray for my face back in the day when i was like ghetto and i'm like literally just walking by minding my own business going to the candle section for the makeup section and they had a five pack for like six dollars i'm literally gonna have one in my car i'm gonna have one literally for my specifically for my like couch and specifically one in my closet and then one in my bag i don't fucking know i got enough for like the rest of my life this is just a cute little picture frame that i got look how cute i'm like it's very i don't know aesthetically pleasing so i was like okay this with this got the mushroom vibes going i think that's the vibe that i'm going for for my aesthetic is vibey I'm just probably gonna put a picture of my dog in here. I got this really like cute shower curtain. I think I actually saw it on TikTok, um, but it was like a really nice shower curtain. Very simple, very like artsy, very, I don't even know what the, I'm like so not there today, you guys. Sorry, I it's my day off. I wake and baked and I'm still baked. <laughs> I got this painting and it's gonna match my bathroom so for anyone who's been in my house which is probably gonna be like none of you except for like my best friends i have a shower curtain that has this exact style which i love this this modern chic kind of like whatever it already came with like a little frame and everything so it's like perfect i don't have to frame it like it's like the size of me like we could be friends dude what's up she's only got one eye though so i don't know man she's giving me the side eye my bathroom is literally the same thing as this except for it's a body i don't know i feel like it just like pulled it all together like it was meant to be i was so stoked when i found this you guys like and for less than 20 dollars, and it's already framed say less the last thing this is a total impulse buy i really was like i don't need this i don't even know where i put it but when i saw this and when i looked up close i was like bitch you have to buy this so for anyone that knows me i'm not really into uh, like designer stuff that much, except for Louis Vuitton's. Um, it has a lot of sentimental value to me, um, just because that's like what my dad always buys for me for my Christmas since I was young, up until like recently. A lot of my Louis Vuitton bags are from my dad. Um, I don't really talk to my dad a lot. So uh, every year for my birthday, he would send me like a Louis wallet or like the newest Louis bag or, you know, something Louis Vuitton. Or whenever I would go back to Japan and see him, he would, we would always go to the Louis store. So that's like our thing. And I'm lucky if I even get to talk to him maybe once a year. So I don't 
really like get to see him as much as I like to. We're not that close, but that's like his way of showing me like, you know, like he loves me. And I know it sounds weird, but it's like, I don't know. I'm like, if you're Asian, you get it. Anyways, I saw this and I was like, bitch, it's a literally sparkly first off. If you look up close, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a girl literally sunbathing on the beach with a Louis V fucking umbrella at Marshall's. I'm like, what? Like, you can't really see it, but it's sparkly. My phone totally died on me while I was like, literally telling you guys about my last thing that I got, which I think was a painting. But anyways, that was my haul. I'm just super happy right now. I feel like I really needed that shopping spree. I'm not even really like a retail therapy girl. I never shop online really rarely. I like to spend money on things like experiences like traveling and like festivals and stuff like that. Honestly, I really fucking needed this today. So I'm so happy I got my mushies. Ah! I'm just so happy because I've literally been wanting these like this one, but it was like a two set since 2019. So I can't believe I found that. This is a freaking candle and a mushroom. Like what more could you literally ask for? Today I had a lot of plans that just didn't go through and I really just needed to get my mind off things. And I think that little shopping trip like definitely made me feel so much better. And I also canceled my trip to LA to Huntington Beach. I was gonna take my dog to, you know, go to the dog beach there. And I was super stoked about it, but I canceled it last minute just because adulting i would have saved a lot of money anyway so i was like fuck it i'm gonna go out and like treat myself when i saw this i was like dude that was literally supposed to be me this weekend like that was supposed to be me this weekend you guys under the lv umbrella or whatever but i don't know if you guys can see it probably not i'm gonna try to bring this closer but it's literally sparkly you guys like look at this hold on see the sparkles that is another little extra thing like it's sparkly you guys like the whole painting and it came framed, so I was like, okay, two paintings. I got a bunch of cute throw pillows. Well, I only got two, but you know what I mean. I got four candles, and then one is like, ugh, I'm just so obsessed. I got my makeup. I got this cute little hoodie thing that I'm gonna wear. I'm so excited. I love comfy stuff, and I'm just so excited to be comfy in it. Got uh, this cute little thing. I'm just, I don't know, I'm all about revamping. I'm still in the works. I feel like my apartment's not 100%. It's really funny because my lease ends in September, so by the time I'm done revamping my whole apartment, it's gonna like be time to move. And if you guys are watching this, thank you so much for watching my little haul, my little shopping haul. I definitely have to do a video of my apartment tour whenever I'm done, you know, setting everything up. I have to go out to Durango tonight with my coworker, Jamie, who I love and adore. And I, she's always working graveyards, so it's her day off. It's my day off. I didn't go to LA, so we're going to go and have a girls' night. If you're watching this, I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I'm like, I'm not really good at it, but I don't know. I'm like, is anyone really good at vlogging? I'm like, you just fucking like record yourself in your life, right? I'm not going to vlog tonight because it's probably going to be a shit show. One that I do not want to to be on the internet so i love you guys i hope you guys have an amazing rest of the weekend and a more beautiful fucking week